In this video, I'm gonna take a look at three different high wattage USB-C power delivery power banks and maybe help give you a better idea of which one might be the best one for you. So just as a general overview, what we're looking at are two power banks that have 60 watt power delivery output and one power bank that has a 100 watt power delivery output. They all have a little bit different capacities. One is all plastic, one is fully aluminum, and one is plastic and aluminum. Okay, so let's take a closer look at all these power banks. So the first one that I'm gonna look at is the Z series 100 watt power delivery power bank from JagerTech. This has two USB-A ports. It has a 100 watt power delivery port that is 100 watts output. Input, it is 45 watts. It has an all aluminum enclosure. Uh, the capacity is 26,800 milliamp hours. And in my testing, I was getting a tested capacity of 78.5% of rated capacity when I was drawing at 100 watts, that dropped a couple percent. The big feature about this power bank is the 100 watt power delivery. If you're looking for a power bank that can charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro at full speed, this is the type of power bank that you would be looking for. It comes in at a price point of $139.99. Okay, moving on to the Anchor Power Bank. So this is the Anchor PowerCore Elite 3 60 watt power delivery power bank. It has a capacity of 25,600 milliamp hours, which is a little bit less than the typical 26,800 milliamp hours. It has two USB-A ports and one USB-C power delivery port, and that power delivery port is 60 watt output and 60 watt input. This power bank had a tested capacity of 85% of rated capacity, and that was even at the full 60 watt draw. So that's pretty impressive uh, for testing. The other thing that I like about this power bank is that it has the 60 watt input, which is going to allow you to charge the power bank really fast. In my testing, this power bank recharged in just over two hours, two hours and one minute. The other thing that I like about this power bank is the build quality. It looks and feels really nice. What I don't like about this power bank is the price. It comes in at $160 US, though there's a pretty significant range. I think you can get it for under $100 sometimes. So 100 to 160, but regular price 160, that's pretty high. It does come with a 65 watt USB-C wall charger. Um, this one from Jagotech does not. Another thing I'll mention is that there is an 87 watt version of this power bank that goes for $180 and it has two USB-C power delivery ports. So I think for an extra $20, it's probably worth going with that one. Finally, moving on to what I think is the best option, and this is a 20,000 milliamp hour, 60 watt power delivery power bank from RAV Power. It has an all plastic body and it only has one USB-A port compared to the other ones that have two USB-A ports and it has a USB-C port with 60 watt power delivery. Now, in my testing, I was getting 83% of rated capacity, and that was also at the 65 watt uh, draw, so this tested really well. So I think that there's multiple conclusions to draw here. First, if you're looking for a 100 watt power delivery power bank, I think that the Z-Series makes pretty good sense. And if you want the fastest recharging, most luxurious feeling power bank, the Anchor PowerCore Elite 3, the 60 watt version and the 87 watt version, I think are really nice. Um, but I think that they're also the most expensive for what they are and hopefully you can get them on sale. Now, if you want the best value, I think that this one from RAV Power is the way to go. It does only have the 20,000 milliamp hour capacity. So that is smaller than the 25,600 and 26,800 capacities for the other power banks. But what it lacks in capacity, I think it really makes up for in the price point and the testing. So, you know, it tested well, 83% of rated capacity. You don't get the same number of USB-A ports, so you only have one USB-A port, and it's an all plastic body. But for 38 to $50, like this one is incredible value, and it still does 60 watt power delivery. One more downside though I'll point out is that it only does 30 watt input, so it is the slowest charging of them, but in my testing it only took two hours and 43 minutes to recharge it from completely empty. I think something that's also worth pointing out is the size and the weight. So the ones from Anchor and Jagotech they're about the same size and weight. The one from RAV Power is quite a bit smaller and lighter, so you can see um, it takes up quite a bit less space, quite a bit lighter because of the plastic body, but also because um, of the smaller capacity, this one being 20,000 milliamp hours, this one being about 26,000 milliamp hours. So, you know, less capacity, but really it makes it more portable, and I feel like that is an advantage with this one as well. Okay, so I understand that this is definitely not an exhaustive comparison of all high wattage USB-C power delivery chargers, but I hope that it helps give you an idea of kind of 
what you're looking for at different price points and kind of what's available. If you're interested in any of these chargers, make sure to check the links in the description below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure to click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.